Hey everyone, it's Sally. So, um, I'm gonna come on here today because um, I've been real dis discouraged lately on doing life coaching. I am um, in the past month have been stood up on donations after spending two to three hours on people trying to help them get through what they're getting through because either therapists are not understanding or saying they're overreacting or that they're taking it the wrong way, that there's got to be some type of positive um, in their mother-in-law that they're just not seeing because they're blocking it out by, you know, something they did in the past and that they're not letting it go and things like that. And this is the thing you have to understand. Therapists, some, some therapists are not going to understand what you're going through because they have never went through what you went through. But I want to address something that's very hurtful to me. When I take my time away from my child after working seven hours with special needs students with behavioral issues, with autism, with Down syndrome, with mental retardation, with slow IQs, and somebody reaches out to me on email and I put my heart and soul and I spend 30 minutes to an hour thinking about what I want to tell you that's heartfelt and you want to set up an appointment or you want to talk to me and I write you these long paragraphs. If you ever notice the new people that come into my email box, I don't do that anymore. You know why? Because the people that I respond to with these heartfelt messages never respond back. They never make an appointment. And the people that make appointments with me, when I ask them kindly to make a donation first, they call me anyways without making that donation. And I'm stuck with either being a bad person and saying, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you until you make a donation, which makes me seem greedy. And I don't want to be greedy because I don't need your money. You have to understand that whenever I was doing this for free for the first two years of my channel, it was exhausting me to the point where I stopped making videos. I stopped talking to people because I was getting exhausted because I felt like even though I was giving good advice, helping people, giving them techniques that they actually, people come back and say, your technique works. And then that donation never comes and I wait a week. I'm thinking, okay, well maybe they need to get paid, maybe whatever. So I wait two weeks, no response. I never hear from those people again. So I spend my time, my energy, everything in my soul and body to give you my love, my consideration, everything that I have, all my wisdom to you, only for you to never speak to me again to never email me and to ghost me when it comes to actually showing some kind of courtesy and love towards me. If that's $5 giving me a coffee while I'm in a coffee shop talking to you outside, or if it's you just giving me $20, so it's worth my time to sit on the phone for three hours. Name a therapist that will charge you $20 for three hours. I'm tired of people ghosting me. I'm tired of people emailing me and I'm putting my heartfelt emotion, raw emotion. Sometimes I cry while I'm writing these emails back to you and I get no response back. After I worked seven hours with disabled children and then I talked to you on the phone for two and three hours, crying with you, joking with you, making you feel better, having higher spirits, giving you techniques, and then you ghost me? How dare you? And then you have the nerve to call the other person an inconsiderate B word, a narcissist, when you ghost me after I help you? I'm trying not to cry, guys. 
And every time someone emails me saying, I'm desperate, I'm desperate, I need your help, I need a session, I need a session. And I tell them, I am not hourly like these other life coaches who charge a hundred plus hours, a uh, hundred dollars an hour plus. And I do it at a, because of the economy and I don't want you to go without, I don't want your children to go without. And you ghost me at the end after I asked you to donate first because I've been ghosted so many times that now I can no longer trust people. And then you have the nerve to come and talk to me, get advice from me, and ghost me. I don't appreciate it. Now, not everyone has done that. And granted, thank you for the people that have never done that, who have responded. And I've made many friends off of this channel. They text me all the time. Do I charge them for the text? No. Do therapists? Yeah. Do therapists give out their phone numbers? Sometimes they do. But they tell you every time you text me and get advice, you, I charge you for a session. Every time you call me, I charge you for a session. I don't do that. When you, te when you text me at 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, ask people in this group. They can tell you in the comments. At 2 o'clock in the morning, I will get my butt up and text you back or call you not asking for a donation, just to be there for you. I've been going through health problems. And like I admitted in my last video, I talked to somebody and I don't expect her to donate after uh, me not being in the right state of mind because I was going through so much pain that I was crippled almost using a cane and a walker. Okay, now they have this pain patch on me. Okay, I don't know if you can see it because I'm wearing this dress. But they have this pain patch. You can barely see it. Okay, so now I'm back to normal. But when I put that pain patch that day that I talked to her, I shouldn't have talked to her. And my words were a little slurred. And I, I wasn't feeling well. But because I know that she so desperately needed help. I didn't care about how I was feeling health-wise. I still talked to her and she ghosted me. She didn't donate. She didn't do anything. She didn't give a shit that I wasn't feeling well that day, but I was still willing to reach out and give her advice. And I asked her, hey, can we talk tomorrow? Did she call me back? No, you know why? Because she didn't want to pay the donation. $5, $20, $50, Whatever it was. This is what discourages me not to make videos, guys. I haven't been on here in like over a month because my feelings have been so devastated, so hurt. Because it has happened so many times where I've asked people, please just make a small donation before I speak to you for two and three hours, when my son is knocking on the door saying he's hungry or he wants to go do something or he wants to spend time with me or he wants to watch a movie with me. And I say, no, honey, I'm helping somebody. Give me a moment. I'll be down there. And that moment, you know what? That hour turns into two hours, turns into three hours. And then guess what? They ghost me. I'm starting to feel used on this channel. And I'm starting to think that I'm going to shut this channel down. I could show you on my computer how many emails I get a day. It may take me a week at most a month because sometimes because I get so many, I miss, miss them. Because not only that, I have like, I don't know if you have a YouTube channel, but a lot of people, um, like advertisement agencies will get on there trying to promote their pro product on your YouTube. And I don't agree with their product or, or I have people that want to make my channel better, better, but they want 30% of what I make and, and revenue. Um, I get that all the time. I literally can show you this. So like I get flooded with those. Okay, I don't do endorsements. I'm not here to make money. I don't care about endorsements. I could have had div uh, div uh, endorsements since I reached a thousand subscribers. I'm almost at 3000. 
People are trying to steal my account. People are trying to take my account. People are trying to make money off of my account. So I get flooded with these Indian, no offense, but like Middle, Middle Eastern and stuff like that people that are trying to get into my account and take over. Because once you get a certain amount of, of uh, subscribers, what they do is they take over your account and then they start posting their stuff on it. Because you've reached the milestone of like so many, you know, because it takes a long time to get uh, like almost at 3,000 subscribers. It takes a long time. It took me like three years to get here. Three or four years. I don't know. Okay. I did. I, um, I didn't delete. I, um, <clears throat> what was it? Took off. I didn't like permanently take off. I, uh, silenced a lot of my videos, my older videos. Um, because I saw how angry I was and I, I didn't want anyone to see that. Uh, when I first started this channel, I was very angry like you, but I'm starting to get my feelings hurt on this channel and I'm starting to feel unappreciated. Now, on the other hand, every day I get emails saying, or, or comments saying, Natalie, thank you so much. I appreciate your channel. I love your channel. I want to, I want to support you. I want to do this and that. But no one supports me. I spend this time and effort on emails, on setting up sessions that people don't show up to. I literally have to miss baseball games to go and sit at home and wait on somebody to call me or me call them and not answer and then text, oh, I have to reschedule or never text or never reschedule. Don't email me don't set up appointments with me where i'm missing my family's life when you literally ghost me you either want help or you don't and i'm sorry to be upset about this it's already 12 minutes long but i can't do this anymore if you guys want me to keep this channel you guys cannot treat me like this. Now, granted, there are wonderful people that I talk to all the time on a, a weekly basis that treat me right. They do me right. They answer my emails. They make donations. They keep their sessions. They keep their appointments. But when you have me missing family events, waiting at home to counsel you, to give you um, sessions and you blackball me or not blackball, you ghost me with no response or you talk to me promising, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get to, I didn't get to make a donation. And uh, then after we get off the phone, I'm like, hey, you know, I wait an hour. Hey, I never received your donation. Never hear from him again. Never hear from him again. What do you guys want from me? I'm giving my heart, my soul. I'm giving my energy. I'm putting my business on YouTube for you guys to get treated this way. I'm on the verge of shutting my channel down. I cannot emotionally take this. I cannot spend an hour on an email, heartfelt emails, Never to get a response again or getting sessions and getting stood up or never getting a donation after spending three to four hours with you on the phone. Now, this isn't everyone, but you know who I'm talking about. You know. And I'm tired of it. I want to be here for you guys, but you have to treat me the same way that I treat you. I love you guys. You are my support system, just like I'm your support system. But what do you expect from me when I am being treated like this? You guys call everyone a narcissist, but yet when you come and get my help and I send the email or I set up a session and I'm missing my family's events to sit at home to wait for your phone call and you don't call me or you forget or you don't donate after I spend four hours on the phone with you, crying with you, giving you advice. It makes me just want to quit this channel.
I've been going through such a good time in my life. But this month, I've been stood up so many times. I've written so many heartfelt emails with no return. I have given sessions with no donations afterwards. Or, I'll give a session. They donate before the session. And then cancel the money that they sent as a donation. And then they call the other person a narcissist. Like I said, my donations are not a set amount. You go on any other YouTube life coach channel. They are charging $75 to $150, if not more, an hour. And all I ask for a donation to spend hours on the phone with you to give you the best advice I can and you ghost me. If this continues to happen, I am shutting down my channel for good. And I'm sorry for you guys that have no one else on YouTube because you can't find me. You can't find things that I say and tactics and ways that other people have said that have proven to be right, that have, that have, that have worked. Go ahead, scroll YouTube. You'll find one or two videos, but not a channel dedicated to this. Not a channel that someone went through this for 20, almost, what, oh my God, it's gonna be 25 years. And I made it out. I survived my marriage. I, I uplifted my husband. I made a family. I succeeded. I died on the hill. And I won the battle. You find someone else on YouTube. You won't. I'm not going to do this if this is the way. I'm not going to. I'm not. This is like criminality to me. This is criminality to me. This shows me that the people on the other end that I'm talking to have evil intentions. They know what they're going to do to me before they do it. And they still get on that phone. And I still open my ear, my heart, my soul to them and give them advice. And them sitting there on the other end knowing that they're going to screw me. Why should I waste my time giving advice to people that have ill intentions in the advice that I give? Have ill intentions to treat me horribly and badly. I'm a good person. I don't deserve it. I will not respond to anyone's email anymore if you are not serious about responding back to me because I'm tired of wasting my time. I don't have much time. I am a special needs teacher. Yes, it's summer break. I plan on doing a lot of videos, but I'm not gonna continue doing videos if I have scumbags on the other end who know, know that they're gonna speak to me for hours and not send a donation. I did no donations for Two years, I gave advice for free for two years. Because I wanted to help as many people as I could. Because I know not everybody can afford health insurance who can go to counseling. Or the counselor giving them bad advice because they don't understand. I'm giving. I don't want to shut my channel down. Do not contact me if you're not serious. Do not contact me if you have ill intent. Do not tell me that you're going to make a donation at the end of our session and then ghost me and block my numbers. Don't. You complain about the narcissist 
Who's acting like the true narcissist when I'm giving you my heart and soul? And I'm sorry this video is like this, but I'm on the verge of shutting my channel down. I'm just letting you guys know to give you a heads up. Let's see if you can find another channel like mine. And I'm not being arrogant. Let's see if you can find someone that's been with someone since they were 15 years old and went through hell and back and won the fucking battle. I won the battle. I won it. I came up with my own techniques because I was alone. And here I am trying to help you guys. And I've been screwed over so many times by you guys. Not all. But several. And you know who you are. You probably blocked yourself from my channel. Because you know what you did. You know how many people I had to fire as clients... Because they claimed the other person was, was a narcissist when it was them. When they were cheating on their husband and ruining their families. And going and, and marrying other men and ruining their families. And then wondering why the mother-in-law that, that uh, she just ruined the mother-in-law's grandchildren and, and son's marriage. And then said the mother-in-law was a narcissist because she was upset for ruining a family. That the mother-in-law held precious because she came in as a succubus and then blamed everyone else. You know how many times I've ran into women like that? I had to fire them. I don't want to quit this channel, but I will delete every single video. If you don't appreciate me and you don't appreciate the time and effort that it takes for me to do this channel, to talk to you on the phone for hours, to answer hundreds of emails every month, then you don't appreciate the fact that I created this channel. And on that note, all I wish is good luck to you finding someone with the knowledge that I have. If I keep, re if I keep, if this keeps occurring, I'm off YouTube. The money, this money YouTube gives me a few hundred bucks a month is not worth me being hurt. I want to live a good life, a happy life. But I haven't been happy when I'm giving my heart and soul to people who vanish on me. I put in my book. All the times and dates that they want, right? Which takes away from other people's times and dates that really want it. And then they ghost me. And the other people that really need it can't get it. Because the other people ghost me on the times and dates that they need. I'm trying to heal. I can't heal when I have deceitful, lying succubuses on my channel. Go and find other channels that you can play like a fool. Because you're not playing me like a fool, honey. And you know who I'm talking about. Several of y'all. Several. Not all. Many of them are my friends. I text them. I call. They call. Do I charge them? No. I only charge them during a session for donations. If they're in, at, at 2 o'clock in the morning, ask several of them. Leave a comment if you called me at 2 and 3 in the morning crying. And I've texted you or I've called you got, getting out of bed. Even though I have to wake up at 445. Did I charge you? No. I talked to you. I'm tired of putting my heart and soul in this and then getting taken advantage of. Not all of you. God bless you. God bless you. And I'm not asking everyone on YouTube to have a session with you with me. You don't need you don't need that if I'm giving you the information for free online. But when you're taking other people's spots and not showing up on those days and calling me, you're taking away from other people that really need it. You're wasting my time. You're taking my time and energy away from my family. Missing baseball games. Soccer games, things like that. 
And I'm sorry I seem angry, but it just happened again this week for the second time. Y'all don't know what I'm do I'm going through. I'm done with it. If this continues to happen, I am shutting my channel down for good. I put my business on here knowing my mother-in-law, father-in-law, other relatives could see this and I could get in shit for it. My husband could get in shit for it. Excuse my language, God. I'm sorry. But I'm putting myself on the line only to be disrespected by people who have ill intentions. 25 minutes. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to make a better video tomorrow, but today, it happened again. Happened yesterday. Happened Sunday. Happened Saturday. Happened Friday. All those days, I sat at home waiting, waiting for those phone calls, for those sessions. No one came through. It wasn't about the money. It was about the fact that I missed games or I missed time with my family or I missed things that I could have done for myself. I barely just got out of school, guys. I have free time finally. There's things that I'd like to do in my life. But instead, my heart goes out to y'all and I wait for y'all to call me and you don't. And when you do, you stiff me. I'm not doing it anymore. You've never seen me this upset. I just, I'm heartbroken by some of the people that I've met on YouTube. They're users. They want help. But then they don't disres then they, then they disrespect you by not helping you for their help that they got from you. I love you guys. But I'm telling you, I'm on the verge of wiping my channel clean. I'm healing. But this what I'm going through with deceitful people is stopping my healing, and I'm not going to allow it. Peace, love, and harmony. Bye.